Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jeremy Hoffman, the Climate and Earth Science Specialist here at the Science Museum of Virginia. Let's continue to explore the human impact on the Earth system by looking at our cities. Census data now indicate that over 80% of Americans live on islands. But these aren't your usual islands surrounded by oceans and beaches per se. Actually, more than 80% of Americans live on urban heat islands. A city like Richmond can feel significantly warmer than the non-urbanized surrounding area. As we build our cities out of brick and steel and asphalt, we change the balance that natural unaltered landscapes have with that big ball of energy in the sky, the sun. For example, paving green spaces into water-resistant surfaces like roads and parking lots eliminates the cooling effect of evaporating water after a rainstorm, as we instead divert that rainwater directly into our streams and rivers. Also, buildings can absorb and hold on to more of the sun's energy during the day, and then turn around and emit that heat back into the air at night. Science has suggested that, at least here in the humid south, our cities struggle particularly with dispersing urban heat away from the city center. Mm-mm, stagnant hot summer air. Urban heat islands matter to us because as extreme heat waves become more intense, this disproportionately threatens the health of populations of people who can't afford to cool their homes. It also puts a major strain on our energy resources that ends up costing us more on our summer energy bills. But fear not, fellow Virginians, scientists suggest that we can all be planting trees in the urban environment, investing in reflective and or vegetated roofs and surfaces on our homes and businesses, and most importantly, we can encourage our lawmakers to reduce heat trapping gas emissions that continue to warm our planet. Check back with us as we continue to explore the human impact on the Earth system. In the meantime, head on over to www.smb.org for the rest of your science needs. We'll see you next time.